Are you the baddest guy in this circle? Oh. Well. Is the guys hunt, come and hustle here? Oh, yeah. What is a stalemate? Is it a marriage? Uh oh. Oh! <laughs> I thought we were friends. Hey, Jim, I'm back from the sculpting store. I got a lot more stuff out in the car. Thank you very much for getting it. Mark was a good guy. He is a nice guy, right? Yeah. So what are we doing here? Look at the pieces I made. Wow. They look like they're store bought. What is that, the last one? It's a king. Can you make it look like me since I'm the king of comedy? It'll be representational. You got it. What do you want me to do? Look at the board. It's all ready to go. OK. You want me to sand it? Belt sand? No belt sand. I set up the sander for you. Since it doesn't have that far to go. Right. Just gently work it down. You don't want to belt sand this? All right, we're going to switch to a belt sander real quick, because I'm lazy. Whenever you belt sand anything, it's important to keep the belt sander moving. If you stay stuck in one spot, it grooves it out. But you notice sometimes I, I don't even look at what I'm doing. The feel is more important than what I could see. I feel right here that you didn't get enough. I feel before. that I'm just the guy that just holds it. That's what I feel. Yo. I made you king. Let me see what I look like. There's your queen. That's right. That's Fran. That's my queen. There's you. Yeah. What do you mean that's me? There's your chins, your three chins. Nice. And your body. What are you saying? I'm fat? Hmm. Just made it look like you. I'm husky. What do you think? Should I slim it down or should I leave it like you? No, leave it like that. It's the fat king of comedy. Now that we have the pieces mostly made, we're going to make rubber molds of each one of the pieces. And once it's solidified, we'll open it up pull out the piece, and we'll have a negative space in which to pour resin. But the liquid rubber, there's certain preparations you need to do before you use it. And one of those is we have to seal the small pores that are in the wood. And the way we do that is just spray clear paint on it. OK, hold, uh, you spill it out. Nope. What are you doing? Are you OK? You were like, the paint is nothing, and now you're lightheaded. You're holding the thing sideways. Well, this is catalyst. We'll pour this into there. It's a 10 to 1 mix. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to brush it on so that at least I capture all the details. This is just the mold making detail coat. The silicone rubber mold making material. OK. Is that making you hungry, John? Yeah, that's like the world's biggest thing of fluff and nutter. Okay. You ever go to an ice cream store and they say they have blueberry, but all they have is vanilla and they mix a blueberry syrup in it? No? Do you want to talk to me at all? <laughs> I'll just sit here and watch. Now that our parts are dry inside the rubber molds, well, which piece is in there? There's the fat king, the fat king of comedy. And the good thing about this rubber is when I let it go, it finds itself. While you're making your little chess pieces, look what I got. What is this? Dad bought these at a garage sale, and the woman said that I made them when I was in third grade for her. I used to take name orders for John. They were 25 cents a letter, and the next day we'd bring in Jeff's sign. John had. Made... I was a child prodigy. You always were one way or another uh, an entrepreneur. Right. What happened? I don't know. I have 75 bucks in checking. <laughs> now this is what's going to become the casting. Like a mad scientist. It's getting hot. I can feel it in my hand. Look. There it is. Ew, watch. My god, what's going on? It looks like an umbilical cord. Can I cut it? Yeah, yeah. Here, look, look. You got that? Yeah, OK, here we go. Pull the piece. Oh, look at that. There's our chest piece. Pull it. It's, it's a little hot. It's really hot. <laughs> look at that. Look, I don't mean to cut out on your uh, you know, mold making thing, yeah. but I have a private lesson with a grandmaster. Have fun. Here we are at the village chess shop with my chess mentor, Rob. And Rob is going to give me a lesson that's going to make me an absolute expert so I could finally beat my son, Matthew. Uh, a lot of chess players like to have their pieces dead center. I see yours look perfect. Aha. Uh -huh. I'm watching you drink coffee on my time. 
Okay, now that I have all my white pieces cast, I'm gonna start making my black pieces, and for that, I'm just gonna use a black resin. Is chess, is it more technical, or is it more a personality game? Chess, uh, on some level at least, is an attempt to impose one's will on someone else. I want to impose my will on my son, Matt. All right, well, one of the ideas that's popular with the kids when they first start learning chess is to play e4, bishop c4, and then you can play, you know, queen f3 or queen h5. Uh, the idea is to heat the focal point of f7, which is traditionally the weakest square in black's camp. Okay, this is checkmate. And that would be queen f7 checkmate game over, what's up? <laughs> you know what, Rob? I'm going to come back later, show you the chessboard mm -hmm. that my brother and I hey, have brother. made. And is it okay if, if I play my son here? I want to show him who's daddy. Oh, I'm looking forward to seeing the slaughter. Yeah. Hey, what's up, man? How you doing? I'm back for my lesson. How'd it go? Oh, it was fantastic. Whoa! You like? I made a lot of progress. Yeah, I'm almost finished here. Ooh, they're hot. The black ones are hot. Because I just were finished casting. Man, you even got the wood grain in there. Isn't it nice how the mold picks up all the detail? My lesson was awesome. Yeah? I'm gonna beat my son in four moves. Want me to wax it? The wax is right there. Could you do that, please? Butcher's wax. Bowling alley wax. Oh, look at that. Wow, that really looks good. Look at that. You know what this reminds me of, this bowling alley wax? You remember from 1973 to 1979, what we used for firewood? Bowling pins. Bowling pins. My dad yeah. bought 2,000 bowling pins at a garage sale. I'm sure the eighth inch thick plastic coating wasn't dangerous. Yeah.